This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, which of the following pairs of numbers represent a perfect square and its square root? So in other words, this first number has to be a perfect square, and this second number has to be a, the square root of that perfect square. As I've said time and time again in my videos, you should really spend time learning the perfect squares from 1 to 20. All of those are listed right here, and their corresponding square roots are over here. Uh, so let's go through these. Is 16 a perfect square? You can see it's right here. Again, 4 squared equals 16. But what is the square root of 16? We can see that the corresponding square root is 4. So the square root of 16 is 4, not the square root of 8. Therefore, those are not a pair. Is 25 a perfect square? It is right here. Uh, 5 squared, of course, is 25. What is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is 5, not the square root of 5. So this is not correct. Is 125 a perfect square? If we look in our perfect squares column, we can see that there is no perfect square that is 125. So this is incorrect. By process of elimination, we know D is correct. You can see that 256 is a perfect square. Again, 16 squared, which is equal to 16 times 16 is 256. And what is the corresponding square root of 256? The square root of 256, as you can see from this chart, and as you should commit to memory, is 16. So D is the correct answer. 256 is a perfect square. Specifically, 16 squared is 256. The square root of 256, of course, is 16. So that is that one.